Hey y'all, it's your girl Stace in the place and we are back for part four of putting together this The Nightmare Before Christmas Lego set. Um, that is Tuxy voicing his opinion that he is upset that he is not able to sit here and chill with us. But I don't know, I figured it was a little bit faster. I'm sorry Tuxy, I'm sorry. They, they want it. We want to get this thing done before Halloween, okay? Sorry, bud. Um, let's see. Let me grab this. And I think this one. Hmm. Oh, okay. This one seems cool. So we're going to do another one of the Hyman Seafoods um, little paper things. I Okay, so... I separated this one by the different sheets. So hopefully it'll go fast. And who knows, maybe this bag, bag number four, will go by so fast that maybe we could even do part five in the video as well. But let's see, we shall see. Um, so anyhow, hope you guys are doing well. Um, let's get into this. So this is 13 teachings of Rabbi Yisrael Slanter. Um, so it says, truth, do not say anything unless you know in your heart that it is true. Okay, okay. I mean, I think I could get jiggy with that. I can support that. Okay, okay. What else did they say? Oh, wow. Sterling, are you all right? Sterling's back here choking on water, a.k.a. trying to distract me. Um, <laughs> alertness. A minute is too precious to waste. Time must be properly utilized. Okay, okay. I'm like, I can support that. I can support that one too. Um, I think, I don't know. I guess we're building a wall or like a chimney or something with this. I don't know. Um, yeah, and it looks like the little thing. And I managed to uh, put the bricks on the way that it's supposed to go. <laughs> oh. I'm supposed to make two of these. That's funny. Okay, next is diligence, which is decide what needs to be done, then do it enthusiastically and well. Ooh, I mean, they, honey, these teachers, they ain't playing no games, okay? They said this is what it is and what it will be. Go play with somebody else, okay? <laughs> What's this next one? Respect. Honor every person. He may not be your friend, but he is a human being. Oh, that one's nice. I I like that. I support that. I live by that one. Cause I'm just like I'm one of those people where if we go, if I see you out somewhere and I see you being mean and nasty to somebody who you feel like is beneath you or something like that, oh, it, it's a no for me, dog. Cancel a Christmas tree. You ain't got to worry about us being friends because I'm like, everyone pulls up their pants the same way. So, mm -mm. ain't got no time for that um, foolishness. I don't know. I'm like, I get it that people have tough days, but it's just like, you don't have to take it out on somebody else and you don't know someone else's life story. And just because in that moment of time, like they may be doing something that wasn't necessarily their dreams or aspirations to be um, wherever they are. Like, that doesn't make them less of a person or deserving of somebody else's nasty attitude. Like, we all just want to live a good life. I, I, you know, like, what's so wrong with that? But, child, some of these people be out here cutting up, cutting up. Um, peace of mind. Be calm and composed and let it show in everything you do. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Um, what else? Gentleness. Wise men speak gently. Well, where do wise men at? Because honey, some of these little fools be out here on these podcasts cutting up. Um, develop the habit and you will find yourself being listened to. That's very true. And they're like, don't be out here barking at nobody. Think it's, like, who's going to listen to that? Who? Ooh, sway. Okay, we just have to put these two little pieces on here. I'm like, ooh, okay. I like, I like this building, this little wall thing. Like this was, I'm not gonna say that it was easy. I'm gonna say it. 
watch it bite me in the butt now. <laughs> this can ready to be something hard or I'm going to do one piece and the piece is wrong. Goodness gracious. Okay, put these on here. Um, what else do we have? Um, cleanliness. Respect your body and your clothing. Keep them clean. I mean, I be trying, I swear, but the way that I be out here at Home Depot getting these little clearance deals, y'all, I have to clean the back of my truck. Oh my gosh, it is it's a travesty. Okay, so these are, I guess, the little wall pieces, and they are Oh, you know what? They're going to hook into these weird little things that we put down there. And I was like, what are those? Okay, so they hook into here. All right, they're in there. And then, oh, they're going to latch, I guess. Oh, cool. So, it, um, so it's going to be like this. We're putting up our side walls, and it's going to latch onto this little piece. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, but yeah, so like I was at Home Depot looking for the Christmas trees, like this was weeks ago at this point. And um, I, I just happened to be there and they had those, what are they called? Um, the little raised beds, but it's like the little metal basin raised beds. They had those on um, clearance because they were trying to get rid of them, um, I presume, so they wouldn't have to worry about them for the winter and stuff. And child, they were uh, 50 bucks for like the huge one that I think is six feet by two feet by two feet. I was like, oh, give me all of them so I can work on our um, backyard. But when we were loading them in my truck, like because they had been sitting outside, they some of them had rust in them. And the rust got all over my clothes. Thankfully, I was wearing an orange Halloween shirt. So, like, I was good on that part. But, um, chow, I mean, clothes looking toe up, truck looking toe up. Then my truck had the audacity for the battery to almost want to die at Home Depot. Y'all, it was when I tell you that day was one of the most stressful days that I've had in a little while. Because I was like, what is happening? I tried to turn the engine over, and it's like, and I'm like, you know, like, I mean, for those of us who still use a, a key to start, you know, I'm not like the cool kids with a push to start. Um, but, but yeah, so, oh my gosh, it was a mess. Eventually, I got the truck to crank, and my foolish self had maybe maybe a, a little over a four of a tank of gas I had just enough gas to drive home it was a day it was hot as blazes and my foolish self was like okay i'm gonna leave the truck running i'm gonna get some of the um <laughs> get some of the bases or the bin things out because of course i bought nine of them but i could only fit three in the car at the time so i was gonna have to make multiple trips and so I was like, dang, like, what do I do? I guess I get the stuff out of the car. And then, like, because at this point, I didn't know there was a battery. I wasn't really sure. I was like, well, the car's staying on, so the alternator is good. So that's good. I don't think it's a short in the alternator. But, like, what's going on? And I was so afraid to turn the car off again. Um, and so I went to um, Firestone. Um, Cause it was like complete care. Cause I was just like, I didn't want to go and take the car to like advanced auto, no offense to advanced auto parts or anything like that. But like, I thought it was going to be the battery. I was kind of hoping that out of all things it could be, it would be the battery. Um, and I was just like, mm, I don't want to take it there and it's not the battery and then my truck is stuck there and then I have to get it towed and all that kind of mess like mm -mm. no thank you um so, so I took it to the fire store place I wish y'all could have seen me when I rolled up in there looking a plum full I was so stressed out I was like oh you know like oh thank god like I made it um I was like my truck is still running I was like I think it might be the battery. I'm not sure, but I just left it running and I backed it in the parking space. 
and stuff. And the guy, oh, he was so nice. And he was just like, it's okay. You're, everything's fine. Because I he can see how stressed out I was. And he's like, uh, you know, everything's fine. You made it here. If something happens, like, we can easily give it a jump. Like, you're safe. You're, you're, you're good. Everything's fine. I was like, thank you so much. I was like, normally I'm so calm. I promise. But it's like this, of course, happens on the day that I'm trying to, like, do a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't plan to do and trying to get these deals just it it takes me oh, the, the paw patrol paw patrol is on yeah paw patrol are you barking is somebody outside oh sorry so we made this little thing I'm not really sure what this is I don't know and like I feel like these pieces keep sliding down. Or maybe it's me sliding them down. I don't know. Get, if you don't get your tail up there. Okay. It's up there. I'm going to stop touching it. Okay. So we're going to pop this little sucker in the hole. So it's here in this hole. I don't know. I don't know what, what that is, but okay. Okay. And so then... Oh, we're gonna put it on the thing. Okay, okay. So it's time. It's like a little mobile home. We're gonna park our mobile home on the lot or our mobile mausoleum on the lot. Let's make sure we get it right on our foundation. Ooh, okay. Oh, I wonder if our little guy is doing okay. Uh, yeah, he's still in there. <laughs> All right, look, guys, look. Ooh. Oh, snap, we're getting closer and closer. This is crazy. Okay. Ooh, so these next pieces, I, like, you know, I complained in the other video about this. So I just went ahead and, like, put all these together. Um, we're supposed to have six, so I'll put together one of them. But I was like, just to save y'all from hearing me um, complain about how my fingers hurt fooling, fooling around with this as the little orange pieces right here. But, okay, we got some cool for the orange piece. Um, anyhow, yeah, I tried to keep myself as clean as possible, but honey, those metal bins and the rust and stuff got everywhere. Um, the washing machine did pretty good with my jeans. Um, it came out of my shirt. My jeans have like a little bit of an orange tinge to them, but like, it's fine. They wear my little Target jeans with the little hole on the side. So it's, it's, um, they weren't destined to last forever anyhow, um, but, but yeah, I mean, trying to stay clean, honey, but I'm a little country girl at heart. What can I say? Okay, so we're going to take these, and these are going to be our little pillars, and let's see, let's put these on here. Oh, and I guess, do they attach to something, or no, I guess they just sit here and look cool. Okay, they just sit here and look cool. That's fine. Um, let's see. Patience. Whatever happens, often it will be unpleasant. Accept it with calm and patience. Yeah, yummy. Yeah, they're right. It's, it's true. <sighs> I'd be like, oh, it wasn't meant to be, or whatever's meant to be will be. But, you know, it's so hard. Like, when we were traveling and dealing with um, a flight that was delayed six hours, but then... They ended up like confirming us for another flight that was going to leave before that one, but they didn't change our boarding passes despite me looking like a crazy person and telling my husband, like, I don't know, I think we should get new boarding passes printed out. Oh, this is, this is it. Um, you know, but then we got to the gate, went to scan our passes, even though the lady said that we should be fine and all, the whole reservation is all together. So they're just going to scan the pass and it'll be fine. Trying to make me look like I was being crazy, stressing out over it, lady. Um, and yeah, and we got there and they're like, oh, sorry, we got to, you guys need to step over to the bad kids line and um i don't know why i keep saying bad kids all the time <laughs> but you need to step over to the naughty passenger line and you guys have to get new boarding passes printed and by the time they printed our boarding pass they were like oh sorry um yeah you know uh we're they I th we were zone six so they have moved on to zone 
seven and eight, honey. And so they were like, hey, you thought you were going to take this bag with you? Absolutely not. We're going to check it to your final destination. The way that we were stressing out, because we went for um, my husband's mom turned 70. And so we were going to surprise her. And, you know, we had our fancy little outfits for the dinner. Um, and I was like, what? But I barely had any room in my backpack um, to get my dress and for my husband to get his suit and stuff out of our carry-on bags and put them in like our respective book bags or even in just one of the book bags because we had our other stuff in the book bag. I was like, what? But you know what? We made it there safe and eventually, um, you know, thankfully the, our carry-on luggage made it and, you know, our check bags unfortunately ran um, basically a day late, but it's fine. It's fine. We got there. We had a good time. Um, and we got back. So that's all that matters. So, you know, that's just a little testament to the patience thing, but it's hard in the moment. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Y'all should have seen me, um, at the, cause on the way back, we went through Amsterdam um, so we flew with KLM from Accra to, um, to Amsterdam and like everything seemed cool, calm and collected. Oh, sorry. This is the little thing that I made. It's got like a little banner and it's cloth and then it has the little buns. So, you know, it's for the pumpkin king, baby. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, everything seemed cool or whatever. We had an hour and 15 minute layover. Thankfully, the plane got there um, earlier than scheduled. So like that was really nice, um, even though it, I mean, like it's like, you know, a matter of minutes, not like we got there hours early, but like it's fine. I'm not complaining. But honey, we went through that security line and I swear it was like they were just pulling people's bags, trying to catch all the bags like Pokemon. And most of the time people didn't even have stuff in their bag that was like bad that they had to take out it was just like oh okay well oh oh this is this is yogurt for your baby how old is the baby you know and this that and the third but stressful okay stressful all right um so here is that it is 35 days till christmas i wonder hmm, i wonder what day that's going to translate to i'll have to look it up um and see what is that date but hey at least you know, we're ready for it, okay? It hasn't passed yet, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so this is part four, or bag four. Um, we still have a few more little things on here. So I think, I don't know how much time it's been, um, because I mean, Having too much fun with you guys like time flies when you're having fun so i think we should just risk it all and like open bag five so then that way you know like we're on the move so i don't know the pieces look kind of big just in case like th this is this is the part when uh you know you get overzealous and <laughs> You be out here building stuff thinking you bob the builder and then you start taking on extra projects, extra projects you had no business taking on. That is this moment, but we're doing it. We're doing it, baby. We're doing it because we still have little things on this card to talk about. So that's the excuse. Let's keep it pushing. I mean, I don't know. The pieces don't seem like they're that too. They're that hard to separate um let's see oh we get to put together santa claus la, 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 wait where's his beard where is santa's beard santa oh here we go <laughs> santa where's your beard at baby oh here we go <gasps> oh, <a> candy cane. <laughs> okay 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 let me see let me see okay so we'll put this on here and then Santi's face. Okay, Santa is supposed to be in shock because I, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking, oh, Tuxie, what's up, baby? You sad? 
I'm sorry, bud, but my butt fell asleep last time, and I was walking like a fool, hobbling off this little chair. I'm sorry, boo. I'm sorry. I know. The mama's so mean. The baby just wants to see Santa Claus with the, the little candy cane. I know. Give it. Oh, wait, I think I put his shirt on wrong. Oh, my gosh. Santa. Santa. Oh, wait, no, I think it's good. I think it's good because his arms are that way. So, yeah. But, like, yeah, okay, maybe he just has the... Oh, because he's got a candy cane in the back. Candy cane in the back pocket, baby. Well, it's really like a little lollipop in the back pocket. But yeah, I was panicking because I thought I put it on wrong, but like his arms go this way. Um, I think he has, oh, he has candy canes in the front. No, not candy canes. What are those? Candy corn. He has candy corn on the front. Here, let me move his beard. Santa, we must show the people. We must show the people, Santa. Move that beard. Okay, see how he has candy corns here? So I think like, I think my theory is right that in the front, it's supposed to be like the Halloween, and then once we get past Halloween, then it turns into Christmas, and that's why he has the little sucker on the back. Santa said, I'm right, so that's just the theory that we're going to go with, that like everyone's face, ah, oh no, I lost Santa's hat. Chelsea, I lost Santa's hat, baby. Can you help me get him back? I got him back, okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. Ouch, but that really hurt my leg, but here's Santa Claus. We'll put him there. Here, Tuxie, you wanna come? You wanna see? You wanna be my supervisor? He's a supervisor. Hopefully, um, crazy little Sterling does not try to jump again like she did. I don't know, we'll see. What's up, bro? What's happening? What's happening, Captain? Yeah, you wanna learn about these little truths? Oh, Lord, here she comes. I hear, I hear those little Tip tappy tappings. Y'all are fine. You, we can let Tuxie have his moment to shine. He just wants to chill. He's just trying to chill, baby. He's just trying to chill. Tell him, Tuxie. I'm just trying to chill, baby. I'm just trying to chill. Okay, so what is this? Okay. It's like, I want to fly like an eagle. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're building fast, or we're building big, I guess I should say. We're building big, Tuxi. We're building big, baby. Let's go, let's go. I don't know what we're building, but let's go. <laughs> oh, man, this is too, this is too much. Um, Wait, oh, it's in this little bag. It's wild to me how like they have the one bag and then they have two bags on the inside, but I guess it's for the pieces that are like extra, extra small. They like, oh, we don't, well, it's a spidey. Tuxi, it's a spidey. Here, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they do it that way. So in case you like rip the bag, then um, you just rip it and it's like the little pieces that all fall, I mean the big piece, like the big chunk pieces that all fall out so it's easier to um, get it back together versus if they just put everything all in one, um, it would probably be a struggle, but who knows, I'm just over here making assumptions, aka making a ASS out of myself. Oh man, I crack myself up. Okay, so let's get back to business. Um, okay, what did we say? We did patience, orderliness. Make your willpower the master of your time. Plan, organize, and follow through. I mean, he makes it sound so easy, you know? Like, he just makes it sound like it's so easy to do these things. Well, I will have you to know sir respectfully it's not as easy as it sounds okay <laughs> i know me over here arguing like like this person the person who wrote this stuff can hear me i yeah i don't i don't, I don't know i don't know i can't call it i'm foolish what can i say um where 
Hmm. I know that little piece is here. If you don't show yourself, show yourself. Okay, I found him. Um, yeah, it's kind of boring, but I mean, we're just building this little flat thing for right now. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's starting to get interesting. See, as soon as I said that, it started to get interesting. And some bright orange, baby. Okay. Como se dice Halloween, baby. Okay. Um, let's see. Put this here. And this here. I don't know. Maybe this is the roof to this thing. Maybe. Dang it. I put it without him. Oh. I need help. I put this. Oh, there we go. I put the flat piece on the wrong little spot. It was bound to happen. Okay. I, I, we were doing, we were doing so good for so long. It was bound to happen. It's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna, you know, we're just, we're just gonna brush our shoulders off and, and keep it pushing and, and it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Hmm. I'm making some weird stuff. Stuff and things. Weird, weird stuff. Stuff and things. Oh, sorry. Let's get back to. Um, oh, okay. Humility. You are not perfect. <laughs> Period. Recognize your own weakness. Ignore the faults of others. I mean, but what kind of faults are we talking about? Because, you know, if somebody like messes up something every now and then like that's cool i'm not mad at that but if they are here being a jerk they are jerk i know jerk 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 <laughs> no, i'm just kidding i'm really serious um, <laughs> okay so we're just adding these little decorations on here okay interesting it's so wild, like the little placement of these little wannabe flower things. And I'm, you know, I'm trying my best to pay attention and put them in the right spot. <laughs> but I like, part of me wonders, like, is there a rhyme or reason to this? Or are you playing with me? <laughs> okay, so this is what we have so far. Hmm. Um, what's next? Righteousness. You, oh wait. <laughs> and I was gonna read it again. You are not perfect. I would be like, honey, the way, the way that my self doubt is set up, you ain't gotta tell me twice. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, moving on to righteousness. Always do the right thing, plain and simple. What the moral law demands and more. Period, boo. Period. So many times where I'd be like, you just do the right thing. Just do it the right way one time. And then you don't have to worry about a bunch of spiders um, trying to seek karma after you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, it wasn't fun with the one spider. Now I'm like, we got two spiders. But, you know, I said that and watch it. It's going to be another one just because I said it. Oh, but we get a little skull. Look at that little skeleton head. Ooh, he's got a little flower on the top. Ooh. Okay, we'll put them on there. All right. And this is it now. Hopefully you can see the little guy. Okay. And then... Oh, I can build a little house. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know. I don't know why, but, like, I just love little miniature stuff because it just looks so cute it's so precious so precious so precious uh, uh, so precious okay we me put these two here yeah it's gonna be a double wide gingerbread house holla holla at me okay ah, here don't be out here playing games with our little christmas fun huh um, oh, wow, this is, oh, we got a chimney too, okay, okay then, 
I know, sorry, I'm, 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 I, I would lie and say I'm hurrying, but clearly I'm not because I'm just over here so enthralled with this thing. Um, okay, that's this, this, and this, and then we need a little overhang piece. Boop. Okay, let me put on my siding on my little house. Boop. There we go. There we go. Okay, time for the roof. Check this out. Check this out. You see, I know you see that door. I know you see that window on the left. Okay. Hold, please. Check out my siding. Okay. Then on the other side, check. Huh. Hey, who got a breezeway right through the house? Okay. And then, yes, that's my red chimney. Okay. Don't play with us. Don't play with us. Right, Tux? Tell me, don't play with us, baby. Don't play with our little house. Okay. Ta da! This is it with his little roof. It's so cute. Okay, and there, so we put it over here. Boop. All right. And yeah, that's the little house chilling in there. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna build a wreath again, okay? I got this, I got this. Okay. Um, put these on here. Oh, this is so fun, it's so neat. I know, like when I build a little mausoleum, I'm like, what is going on? What is happening? <laughs> is this haunted? But then when I do the Christmas parts, I'm like all hyped and excited. <laughs> I know, I should stop playing favorites with holidays. But I can't help myself. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, here is me saying okay 14,000 times. Here's our little wreath. And we are gonna put the little wreath in here. And it looks like, okay, yeah, it just plops in on here. And so there was a rhyme and reason to the little red flowers because it locked into the red flowers. So I take back my talking smack to the end guys. Um, so put this on and then this. And then we put a little white thing on the ceiling and um, I don't know what exactly this is, but that's cool, I guess. Um, so it's going to go and it covers the skull for some reason, I guess, to keep it safe or hiding. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it's going um, Okay, and then we're going to build up the sides a little bit. I don't know. I'm like, as I'm doing this, I'm like, hmm, so then does it really make a difference if I separate the pieces? But I don't, I feel like in my mind, it helps me to be able to find it. And so like, I don't know, hopefully I just come off as, you know, uh, domesticated and calm logo creating darling. But on the inside, I'm like freaking out, like, oh my God, where are these pieces? What is going on? <laughs> oh, and, and I'm like, oh, okay. So this goes on top of this. Okay. And then these, and then these. Okay. Whew, maybe, maybe cutting up, cutting up. Okay, let's get back to this little thing. So we actually finish it. Um, we have two more. So thrift. Every penny should be spent carefully as I'm putting together this $200 um, Lego set. But look at how much joy it is bringing us, okay? Just, just had to put that out there. Um, <laughs> money can do too much good to be wasted. I mean, I agree. I'm like that whole scene where they'd be like, Money can't buy happiness. Oh, like money may not be able to purchase happiness, but money can buy peace, okay? A peace of mind. And peace of mind is everything. Everything? Everything, okay? Um, so we are just building up these little sides. But no, it doesn't mean you should sell your soul for money, okay? I haven't lost all my nails, all right? Okay, here we go. We're building up, building up. What is that song? 
Um, is it heart? Is the house a love that I want? That it don't take my shoes off. It up, build it up, build it up, build it up. Luther Vandross. Okay. But I can't think of the name of the song. Is a heart is a house for I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna feel so embarrassed when I find, like when I actually uh look it up after this and be like, wow, Stacey, you knew the name of that. Why did you play yourself? Why did you second guess yourself? But it's fine, it's fine. Okay, oh, we get to put on a spooky clock sticker. All right, so this is the front. And did you know that there's like not all this drama, but there's like you know, all this, oh no, oh no, okay, I was like, oh no, I'm so busy over here yapping, I'm like, did I pay attention to make sure that I'm putting the clock on the right way, okay, so this is the straight part, okay, we're good, we're good, you know, you know, I just gotta freak out just a, just a little bit to know that it's real, <laughs> so you know it's real, okay, here we go, we got our spooky clock, we got our spooky clock, can you believe Tux did all of that and now he's just like laying here? Can't even see him. A mess. Okay. Um, what is our last thing? Silence. <laughs> That's probably what Tux is saying. Like, uh, can you silently put together your little Lego thing since I can't play? Tux, bye. Um, so silence, choose your words carefully. Don't talk unless you have something worthwhile to say. I mean, I like that, but I don't know. I, I was raised with the whole thing and that's, that's it for, um, our little card for <laughs> this video. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I was always taught if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. But like, maybe that's a Southern thing because you know, that's a southerner's honey was raised to be sweet as a peach, sweet as a Georgia peach, honey. Meanwhile, they out here stinging harder than a hornet's nest, but that's none of my business. <laughs> oh, that was shady, but it was funny. So it's fine. We'll let it slide. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I mean, like, this isn't taking as long as I thought it was going to for two bags. Because, like, the last ones, we just been doing one bag. But, like, now we are the two-bag crew. Okay, but, like, don't worry. I'm not going to get, like, super overzealous and then feel like now every every little sit-down we have to do two bags. Because then y'all are going to be like, oh, my God. Why is this video so long, girl? What is you doing? So, it's okay. It's okay. But at least we got one with two pieces. I mean, two bags done. Um, let's get this uh, moving. Oh, man. I really need to do laundry today. And it's like, in my soul, I want to do laundry just to, like, get it done. But in my heart... I just want to take a nap. I just want to take a nap. But I have so many things to do. So I can't. And it sucks. Adulting sucks sometimes. Did, did you guys, um, like, growing up, they would be like, oh, yeah, the kids always are dying and grow up can't wait to be grown but then once you be grown you be wishing you were a child again you know and they say all that and then when you're like young and dumb and you don't know any better like oh, whatever these old fogies don't know anything i just want to be outside chilling doing hood red things with my hood red friends and then you grow up and you start talking, paying bills and i'm like no the old people were right they were right i take it back i'm sorry i should have listened i should have enjoyed taking those naps in kindergarten what was i thinking i took so many naps for granted so many naps for granted Oh, please forgive me, little, little naps. I'm sorry. 
if only I had known what I know now. Um, I remember somebody asked, like, if you could go back to being in school, like, knowing what you know now, if you could go back um, and, like, relive a grade or a year again, like, would you do it and which one? And I don't know. I'm like, because hmm. it's like, okay, so... I was going to say maybe like high school. So then I can have like a little bit of confidence and be like, it's fine if I don't have a boyfriend and, you know, and I'm just out here doing me and I'm out here not wasting my time with these little snotty nose um, boys and stuff and living my best life or whatever. But I don't know. High school was a tough time. It was like either you try to fit in or... You just got to be brave and stand out. Stand out above the crowd, even if I've got a shadow of love. Don't, oh, I love a goofy movie. I, I want to watch a goofy movie, but like, honestly, I don't need to be watching anything. I need to catch up on everyone's YouTube videos because I thought I was going to have the opportunity when we were traveling and stuff. Child, the internet said no. Then I thought maybe I could just buy Wi-Fi on the plane and the Atlantic Ocean, um, which was wild because it was the Atlantic Ocean that's like the part where you're traveling to uh, the lower portions of Africa. Like, well, not the lower, but like along the Ivory Coast and Ghana, Nigeria and stuff like it's like, oh, yeah, if you want to travel to this part of the continent, <laughs> If you're not traveling straight across and going to Europe, you can count that Wi-Fi out. I was like, the audacity. I was getting ready to pay. I was getting ready to finally cough up a little bit of money, honey, and be able to be able to use the Wi-Fi. But they didn't want me to be great. So, but yeah, if, <gasps> no. I have to make two of these. I mean, it wasn't hard, but like, Okay, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, right? We're we're gonna take from the little card that I was reading. It's fine. We're gonna have patience. We're gonna hustle through this. But like, just so you can see, this is the roof. The roof. The roof is exquisite. We don't need more Legos. We got everything we need. Yeah, I was gonna say we. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna make it a different way, but like. I don't feel like any words that I could have come up with would probably make sense or be appropriate. So for that matter, case is closed. <laughs> oh, man. I cracked myself up. This is just too much. Okay, we got to make sure that we build up this roof. It's nice and pretty, but make sure that it's nice and sturdy because we ain't got no time for no Lego wins. And hurricanes to be coming up in our path, messing up our hard-earned little Lego house. Ain't nobody got time for that, okay? Ain't nobody got time for no wild, crazy little dogs who want to be out here running around acting like they have to be in the video and trying to knock over our stuff. We ain't got no time for that. We ain't got no time for that, baby. I love how he's just like laying here chilling as I'm just talking all this cash trash about him. He's just like, okay, well, whatever. Not even bother. I don't even think his eyes. Tuck me. Eyes weren't even open. Okay, brother man said, mama can't take a nap, so I'm finna nap for her. And for that, I appreciate him. Oh, so I finally, I dropped off the packages um, to FedEx. So I will be getting my refund for those pillows. I mean, I'm still, I'm still debating the, um, some other stuff. Well, not from that, but like from another haul, um, if I'm going to return it or not, but I just want to, you know, I just want to be honest with you, put it out there. I'm like, honey, no one's sending anything to me for free yet. So if I'm not in love with it, trust and believe me, it's going back to the stove, okay? Back to the stove. 
Um, so yeah, so I sent those back. I mean, I think they're pretty, I think they're nice, but it's just the pillows were so small um, for 20 bucks. And, the, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like maybe for the kids, oh, I have to show you guys the kids room because we, um, we organized it. So now it looks a little better because, you know, when we were putting together that um, little kid cart of uh, shopping little aisle thing like or cash register that's what it's called wow <laughs> when we put that together honey that room was looking rough and tough like a taco truck uh but like now it looks nice and neat and everything is like it's not all in its place but like for the most part it looks it looks decent enough that like you know, you could you could let somebody um, walk past it and like not feel like you got clutch your pearls and pray they don't go and tell somebody that your house is a mess. Um, okay, so we finished our two sides of the roof and we are gonna put the roof on. I'm a little nervous, but you know, it's cool. Cause then I'm like, well, does it just sit in the hole? No, it said it goes after this so oh it just sits on there it rests on the little so it re this orange piece rests on this one i know you're like girl we knew <laughs> we saw the vision before you did but like that's so cool and then you can lift it up and see what's going on okay and then we are going to set this on the top Apparently. Yeah, I'm stressed out putting this on here. I'm like, we worked too hard to put this thing together for it to all of a sudden just want to fall. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like, let me straighten these little things up, make them look, make them look somewhat symmetrical, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, maybe. I think that's it. Bam! Thank you, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go now. Check it out. Oh, it's our mausoleum, baby. Wow, it looks so big. Can you guys believe we did this? Like, we did this. Okay, it's not fully done because I think, oh, yeah, on this next thing, I don't know what it is, but, like, right now it looks like a pond or something. But, like, look, and then we can open our door, and then we can close the door. Oh, that's so cool. Look at what we did. And we have Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Oh, Y'all, I'm so proud of us. Okay, we did good. We did two packs this time. Okay, so next time we'll be doing pack six, but it will be part five. Um, so yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And, you know, hopefully some of the little teachings, you know, maybe it'll help give you a little gentle reminder to be about that life. Um, and yeah, and hopefully we will see you guys later. Happy Blacktober. Bye.